Hi everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. I want to give you guys a look at something really, really cool with the Nook tablet. It turns out you can sideload Android apps like the Amazon App Store and apps from other sources uh, without hacking it. You can just do this very simply. All it requires is just a few minutes. I've got the directions here on my website. Let me show you the web browser right here. So I've got the directions right here. I'll put the link below the video on YouTube how to do this. So there's probably a few different ways to do it. Um, the easiest way you just uh, go to the Go Launcher website and install version 2.65. You use the Nook's web browser and it can download the app. And then what it'll do is it'll show up down here as it's downloading. And then once it's finished, you just tap on it and that will um, launch a package installer. You choose the package installer that launched the app and then it will give you launch this hidden menu um, where you can choose to um, enable installing apps from third party sources. So it's kind of like a little secret inside the Nook that you can only get to. Uh, it seems like with installing certain apps and the Go Launcher app is one of those. So you get that option and then you can install whatever apps you want to like I have on here. So I installed Button Savior after that and uh, I installed after the Go Launcher I didn't really care for it so I installed Launcher Pro which you see here and then I installed Button Savior because one um, thing with the Nook is if you use this home button you, t you still have your regular Nook tablet all in working order right here and if you use this home button it automatically takes you back to the Nook so it can be kind of tricky to get to your Android home screen so what I did is I installed Button Savior so I can uh, go over here just by hitting the home button another workaround is to um, hit the search bar and then you can just type the name of your launcher like go and it will show up on the list and that's another way you can launch your uh, launcher so that's a really cool thing here you don't have to hack it or anything like I said I've got the directions right here you just install that app and then you can in install whatever apps you want. I've got the a bunch of um, apps from Android Freeware and I also got a bunch from Amazon on here. As you can see I got the Kindle for Android app. It works well. I've got Angry Birds, uh, the ones not from Barnes & Noble. I've also got Google Maps on here and it works well. Nice and smooth so you're not going to get this from the Barnes & Noble app store. It's really a uh, cool thing, you can just side load it onto the Nook and have access to it this way. Another app I installed is YouTube and it works well. So the Nook uh, it has a bookmark for the YouTube website on the regular Nook tablet's functionality, but it's just the, the mobile website, so you don't get the high quality videos as you do with uh, um, using the YouTube app. Okay, I also got Dropbox installed on here, um, Aldeco, so you can still have your Nook apps on here as well, so that will launch my Nook library. So it's really cool. It's like having two tablets in one again, and you don't even need to have a hack or anything complicated. So I'm going to wrap up this right now. Uh, check out the ebookreader.com. Like I said, I have the directions on there. Um, thank you for watching.